could uh, acknowledge the traditional owners of the land in which we stand here today and uh, pass, my, pass on my uh, uh, respect to both uh, Elders past and present. Um, and I'd also, if I could, like to acknowledge some of my colleagues that I have here with me today. And uh, uh, first of all, I'd like to, uh, a, a Member of Parliament from Canada that has travelled over here, Mr Jagmeet Singh. It's wonderful to have you here walking with us today and uh, raising this issue. He's represented here today and I'd like to acknowledge uh, Senator Janet Rice, who is a uh, Senator for the Greens Party for Victoria. I'd also... And I'd also like to acknowledge Rob Mit Mitchell, the uh, Labor member for McEwen, and he's represented here by uh, Adam Mara. And uh, thank you very much for that representation. So you have three, three of the, the three political parties uh, representing the federal parliament of Australia that are represented here today at this very, very important event. I'd also like to, if, if I could, uh, just acknowledge that we have here uh, representatives from the uh, the seat justice. Seeks for justice for, for the United States, so uh, uh, we have representatives there, which makes it truly an international event. Um, if I could also uh, acknowledge the uh, members of the Supreme Seat Council of Australia uh, and representatives of the Seat Genocide Recognition, uh, Mission, uh, Recognition uh, National Committee, and if I could signal out just one, and that is my good friend Deljit Singh, who has been my teacher and educator on everything relating to the Sikh community. And for that, uh, he certainly raised my awareness and I will be always profoundly uh, appreciative of, of, of what he has done. Whenever I, whenever I have the opportunity of addressing the Sikh community, one of the first things that comes to mind is, is a uh, a gentleman by the name of Raphael Lemkin, who back in 1944 actually termed the, the uh, phrase genocide after seeing the horror of the Holocaust in Nazi occupied Europe. And he defined it by saying that genocide, and this, this is his definition, is intended to signify a coordinated plan, plan of different actions aiming at the destruction of, an ascent, of, of essential foundations of the life of national groups with the aim of annihilating those groups themselves. The objectives of such a plan would be the dis, uh, disintegration of the political and social institutions of culture, language, national feelings, religion, and the economic existence of national groups, and the destruction of the personal security, liberty, health, dignity, and even the lives of individuals belonging to such a group. Thanks to Lincoln's successful campaigning in 1948, the UN General Assembly defined genocide as a crime for the first time. It's certainly a blight on humankind that despite there being a universal understanding of what genocide is, these atrocious acts have not stopped. Can I say that what is important in uh, acknowledging genocide, it is important that wherever we see such an act, that we acknowledge it. Because by, by ignoring it, there is a view that it is okay to continue to perpetuate it. And so I think it's very, very important that we do campaign for the acknowledgement of such an act, irrespective of where it, uh, where it happens. Now, today, we gather to remember more than 37,000 victims of the Sikh genocide, which took place in November 1984. 30 years on, and the physical wounds from that terrible time may have healed, but the damage inflicted in the psyche of a generation of Sikhs remain. And I'm sure there are many of you here in this gathering today that are very much aware and were were, were very much part of what had occurred at that period of time. And those memories are very, very fresh in your mind. And I know in my community in far north Queensland, there are quite a number of people up there that
that were present when these acts had occurred and of course they are indelibly etched into their minds uh, and, and of course they carry those scars for the rest of their lives. I've now been involved in this cause for several years now and uh, as I said earlier all thanks to my good friend Deljit Singh and uh, as I say I greatly appreciate the education that I received from him and in receiving that education and meeting many of your fine leaders over a number of years I've certainly become very very committed to continuing to be a voice in the national parliament to make sure that we get this recognition, occur recognition occurring. On November, the, on November the 1st, 2012, the 28th anniversary of this event, I was proud to present to the Australian Parliament a Sikh genocide petition with almost 4,500 signatures. It was an amazing sight, and many of you here today were certainly there to witness that event. Over 400 Sikhs came to the Parliament from around Australia, meeting in the grounds of Parliament House, uh, Parliament, sorry, and walking up the front entrance, a sea, uh, 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 a sea of colour, colourful turbans, uh, flags, saris. It was quite overwhelming. But inside the chamber, it was amazing as I was delivering that petition to look up, and the entire gallery was absolutely full of members of the Sikh community. I don't think our Parliament has ever seen anything quite like it. This. Uh, I think it's important now that we continue to work on this. And one of the things that prompted me with the petition was that in, uh, earlier in 2012, the Australian government had recognised as an act of genocide, and rightfully so, in uh, Srebrenica, in, Bos in Bosnia in 1995, when there were over 7,000 men and boys that were massacred due to their Muslim faith. I think when you think of that, I think it's absolutely critical when we talk about 7,000, which it clearly is a genocide and an absolute tragedy. 37,000 that were basically slaughtered uh, only a decade before. I think the time for recognition has well and truly come and we must continue to campaign for that. I congratulate the, the Supreme Sikh Council of Australia for, the, for their work in raising awareness about the Sikh genocide and other genocides that have happened or in many cases is still happening around the world. I commend you also for your work in other areas, advocating on issues that affect the Sikh community, providing guidance for young people, providing uh, liaison with government departments on Sikh issues and showing lead leadership. And we've seen that leadership here today as we walked from the library down to here, promoting peace, promoting multiculturalism, and I could say to you as we walk down here, you'd walk down here with your heads held very, very high with a great deal of pride. You're raising an issue, but you're also showing respect and you're doing it in a very, very peaceful way. And can I say, that is the way of the Sikh community and it will be broadly acknowledged for the for your contribution and the way in which you acted here today. In, clo in closing, can I say, I've. I've absolutely pledged my, my support to continue working with your community on achieving recognition of the Sikh genocide in the Australian Parliament. I thank you very, very much indeed for inviting me to participate uh, in this event today. And can I say it's an absolute honour and I certainly look forward to continuing to work with you. Thank you very much indeed.